Yeah. Mike, how did the practice go Close today? <laughs> uh, go today here with the Dolphins. How did it go for the offense? Looks like y'all um, had a good day. Um, it went well. Um, we, I th honestly, I think it's just great to actually go against somebody else and practice, you know, especially for the ones and guys who's not playing in the preseason. So um, it's actually fun and good for us. And then for you, um, back you got to press the holes and so forth. Um, how did the line do? And, you know, I know they're not tapping to the ground, but you still got to simulate the run. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, it, it felt good, honestly, uh, no matter if it was a – Zero game or twenty. It actually felt good to actually go against somebody else. But um, overall, I think our O line did pretty good today. Arthur, Arthur was talking yesterday about trying to balance getting young guys carries versus making sure you get enough to get ready for the regular season. How much do you think you need in preseason games, if any, to be ready for Week One versus letting them kind of see who's going to be behind you? Um, honestly, uh, it's whatever coach wants. Um. If he wants me to go ahead and play in the first quarter, I will play in the first quarter. Um, whatever coach thinks I need, I will be in there. Is there, a, for you personally, though, is there an amount that you, of work that you need to see every year? You're a vet now, you know your body, like where you're like, I need X in order to get, to make sure I'm at where I want to be. Is there like a, in your head? Is there a number in my head? No. Uh, going into year seven, honestly, I can't tell you that there's a number. Um, all I know is I'm prepared for whatever coach wants me to do. Do these, um, do these practices hold more weight than maybe some against your own team, even though you're not going to the uh, ground? Can you get a better picture of where the run game's at with you? Yeah, it's, it's most definitely, uh, I would say, you know, harder, you know, more fun to actually go against somebody else. So um, it, it's great work for our offensive line, our receivers, to actually go against somebody else. Mike, with so much attention with the run action, you know, in the passing game, can you get a feel how effectively it's working like you guys are really selling the run to open up some of the passes yeah i get a great feel for for all our play action honestly um whenever there's a play action and you know i can spring a guy open you know i i get excited about that and happy for my guys so i actually enjoy it to be honest going back to what was that first word is having these types of practices maybe lessen some of that of that work maybe you would need like if you guys are just going against your own guys every day. Does that change that metric for you? Not really. Um, only thing that's different is these guys don't know exactly what we're, you know, we're doing instead of going against our guys who've seen it a couple times. So, it, like I said, it's, it's great work for us to uh, actually see their defense. We, we play them like week three. Um, so it's actually good for us. And, and like I said, it's, it's fun to actually go against somebody else. Do you wish that y'all had more of these, like they, every team did? Because some teams are doing two this year. Like no. Two. No. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Do I wish I had more jump practices? No. I, I, I mean, it, it's like a game every day, to be honest. So do what I, ref, you know, prefer more joint practices? No. On, on that note, you guys do play them in the regular season. Yeah. How, mu how much can you show them this week? That's a great question. Uh. I don't, I don't know. I mean, even if we did show our hand, it's like it could be different once we play you got, uh, these guys week three. So, I mean, you just never know. We could, we could show anything, and come week three, it can be totally different. What about cadence, dummy calls, stuff like that? It can be totally different. Okay. You know, guys get paid a lot of money to learn on the fly. So, you know, how strategies, you know, everything changes week to week. So, it's just how quickly guys can adapt and learn. Mike, I want to ask you something because you've been kind of outspoken about it on social media. There's a, a taunting call down here on this field. What do you think about that, that emphasis? <laughs> uh, the ta I won't get fined for this. What else? Um, Not by me. Uh, uh, the taunting, it's just guys love to show their emotion when they make big plays. So to get a flag for showing your emotions, I think it's just kind of, you know, it's kind of messed up. Uh, to be penalized to show your emotion, as long as you're not directly in the guy facing taunting. If he's in the area, they throw a flag. It's kind of, I want to say it's not fun. It's just kind of hard to not show emotion when you make a big play. So I don't know how guys are going to handle that. But don't you? But do you think you've been around long enough? You see this in preseason, maybe week one, and then it tapers off. Yeah. Uh, like I said. Uh, we all know, you know, referees every year have a, a emphasis of something that they're working on, and taunting is one of them. So, uh, honestly, I, 
pretty sure we're going to see a lot of more tonting flags that won't be called during the season. But um, I think it's just something they want to take out of the game. I understand, you know, you don't want guys to tunt other guys. That's very understandable. But showing emotion, I, I don't think you should be flagged for that. Is it frustrating though? Because, I mean, you've been in the league long enough where you've seen the pendulum swing both ways. Like when you started in the league, it was like maybe even stricter than this. And then they're like, no, you guys are going to do what you want. Now it's going to back off. Is that frustrating as a player where it's like, wait, you pick something in the moment? I won't say it's frustrating because it's just something we, <laughs> we got to adjust to. Um, like guys get paid a lot of money to adjust, so it's just something you gotta know, you gotta be smart about. You can't be in a guy face and do other stuff, but we just gonna have to learn, I guess, from NBA guys or something. <laughs> Mike, speaking, speaking of penalties, man, you didn't play last week, but how'd you notice the coaching staff address guys about all the penalties that happened in that preseason game? Um, honestly, uh, going into games, uh, you should know who the referees are what they have in the past, what they call in the past, um, the things they look for, you know, this ref, you know, calls more holding calls than this ref and all that type of stuff. So it's honestly, it's just all about being aware of the refs you have in the game. So knowing your personnel. Arthur or whomever addressed, there are a lot of penalties last week in that preseason game. Again, you didn't play, but just how he addressed the team on how you guys got to tighten that up. Uh, <laughs> Tell the guys stop doing what they're doing. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know how you want me to tell you that. Um, it's just those penalties. That's something that you know we talk about before going games. You know, self-inflicted wounds. That's something that we want to eliminate. So the penalties, the young guys. I'm pretty sure you know they learn from them. Um, you know, coach. You know, we can emphasize it, but it's all about our guys going out there and making sure they're not holding and, and getting these calls that you know they had last week. Like I say, just learn from them. You have, All right. uh, uh, you have a couple of uh, the uh, younger guys in uh, your group, Caleb and uh, Hawk. Yep. How, how do you think that they've been doing uh, thus far? I think they've been doing great. Uh, Caleb, you know, is, is is the bull in the china shop in our room. Uh, Javion's a smaller guy. Um, those guys are they're handling everything well. Um, you know, they just got to continue to get better every day, learn every day, and um, they're they're doing the best they can. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.